Dogs Johnson is next to me. Maybe a little uncomfortably close. Uh, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Alright, so this is Arkma up against uh, someone. Yep, someone. Presumably one of those names I don't recognize. Yeah, it's a Pikachu player. Looks that uh, way. I think most, like, Luigi's at this level uh, are often, like, pretty well practiced in the Pikachu matchup. When it comes to, like, fighting Pikas around their same level, uh, there's definitely, like, there's a lot of Pikas around no matter what level of play you're at, so. That it's being true. said, our, uh, our opponent here doing pretty well. Do, do either of you know who, who's the uh, Pika? Do you know? Do you know who the who the Pika is? Oh, okay, that's Goose with Socks. Goose with Socks. All right. Uh, I've seen him on the Discord or something. Now, patiently awaits uh, Pika to recover to the ledge there. Wouldn't want to hit him. Arkman definitely wants to close out this stock before Goose gets too much more damage. He goes for the down tilt again. It's knocking down at this point, so has to get a tech chase. Actually, he did have an opportunity there because Goose tech towards him. Uh, rather than away, which would have kept him completely safe. With the, reverse yeah, side. the reverse edge GI. Gonna keep him alive for now. The, the point blank neutral, he goes for the back Maybe, throw. Yeah, I know, that was it's an interesting instead decision. Instead of the forward throw. And he even had time to think about it. And yeah, he yeah. Kind of sat there with a... Oh, the get-up attack has some vulnerability yeah, at the, the end, the, it looks like. That was like a, maybe a Nair that finished that stock off. But uh, this, this is a... Yeah, from Luigi. Yeah, yeah, I thought you said Dare. Oh, going for the he, down tilt grab. Surprising. It, it really is a frame trap, I guess. It yeah. kinda, kinda, it's like uh, Ness doing his down tilt on recoveries when he tricked people into killing themselves. Yeah, Ar Arkma really, really does love the down tilt grab, Luigi. Like, you can ask him about it. He's, uh, he's a big down tilt grab fan. The up B into down B call out, almost taking it. It goes for an up smash. He's just trying to read Pikachu right now. <laughs> Doesn't work out for him this time. This is, this is a, I feel like this is really, really hard. I mean, like, obviously, it's a hard matchup for Luigi. Yeah. But I feel like most Luigi's, what they want to do is they want to approach from above, get a down air, up air, up B sort of thing when Pikachu's at mid percent. But Pikachu just has so many options for dealing with Luigi trying to approach him. Yeah, as long as you have a good sense of timing on those up airs, uh, you can make it very, very difficult for Luigi to get in. As well as, like, uh, even if you don't have great timing, you can throw out something like Pikachu down air, which just stays out forever and uh, will stuff out a lot of Luigi's approaches. And again, it opts for the back throw. I yeah. think even, even being closer to the right side, I think fourth throw was still better. Surely he, he must know. <laughs> Maybe it's an integrity thing. Maybe it's an integrity thing, yeah. Good up smash. Not a lot yeah. of Pikachu can do there. Maybe up B out. It's sort of the gap that Goose created at the beginning of this game hasn't really been closed by all too much by Arkma yet here. He's still got a lot of work to do to come back. And as the game goes on, that, that gap sort of relatively widens. Uh, you know, the amount of extra work he's got to put in, it's coming closer and closer to the point where, like, he has to make something happen. He has to make this comeback start or he's, he's just going to yeah. lose by one stop. Like right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just keep playing the same game. It's just going to be a one stock match. But again, he tried to approach from above, got up tilted. Here he is again, and Pikachu's just coolly walking away. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't even have to think about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the walk is so good against Luigi. <laughs> just not playing the game is uh, how you beat Luigi. I mean, it's it's so good because like you have access to every option you could imagine when you're walking. But also, if you're walking away from Luigi, you're completely safe. Uh, you're giving up a little space, but that's pretty much it. Arkma is starting to look like he could even things up here. The one oh, up air, baby. And he baits the stale him with the dash up smash, attack. not yeah. quite going to do it. <laughs> Too bad. Needs to find something into an up B. Or maybe close this out with a grab. There's the up B, though. He just recovers right on top of him. And Arkma was such a fast reaction there. That's the second time he opted to land kind of mid-stage. And this time, even right on top of Luigi. Didn't get grabbed and back thrown this time, though. So it is a lot closer here than it was last talk. Arkham was down like 70% or so. Now it's only 30. He's got some extra room to work with. Yeah, th it's this this low percent on Pika. You want to get him maybe around 25 or so, and then it starts getting pretty easy to combo him with the uh, up air up B. Yeah, you need to get him into that upper scoop percentage. And then the once, scoop percent. once you once you get him to scoop percent, it's, it's just the old one two that you got to give him, you know? The old so, one two. Yeah, so that's not too bad, but it doesn't look like Arkham's going to get the opportunity the here forward smash. as Goose. With the forward smash covering Arkma's attempt at falling to the ledge, needed to maybe just like do an upbeat to the slide platform there. Uh, that was yeah, that, that forward smash. Option. I mean, you'll hear Pika, Pika main say that that's bad to edge guard with. 
That's uh, that's them showing their privilege because most characters would die for a move that good <laughs> on the edge. That's very true. But Pikachu has still even greater options. Yeah. So Goose up 1 0 now on Arkma. We did see Arkma win his previous two sets on the stream setup, so he's not doing too bad in this pool. Yeah, coming into this set, I would have guessed he had all the momentum. That's a, that's a good point. Coming yeah. off the the two wins. It is, it is you know, this will take the wind out of your sails. Pika, Pika Luigi, it's not easy. You gotta accept that you're on a difficult road when you play Luigi. Yeah, and Arkma, very very much a dedicated Luigi main when it comes Get to the steel game. mental. I know he also uh, he also plays like ultimate and melee, uh, but as far as 64 goes, he's pretty diehard with the Luigi. Nice forward smash, I like that. Uh, he's calling him out. See if he can. He's looking for that up B again, I think. But this time Pikachu here, yeah. keeping his distance. Wow. And <laughs> the down B takes it. Sadly, it was, oh, it was no. he decided it too late, and it, I guess it threw off uh, Mr. Luigi player Arkma. A roll nice down. Roll. Yeah, that's a like... very online looking option. <laughs> the board smash. I like it. I like it. Finally, some net play. Alright, but trying to get some like center stage control here and just like, uh, he really wants like those down airs. Like, that's, uh, yeah. racking up that like low percent, like down airs into uh, like an up air or like a down tilt. Grab. I, like, I like down air and air as Luigi at low. Oh, true, yeah, that's I think it's a good follow up. Good up smash, just getting Pika off and continuing to rack up that percent. Now he just needs an upper like that, but a clean hit rather than a trade. And he's gonna be able to take the stock. Oh, oh no! Kind of a. Kind of a flub from flub. both players, yeah. yeah. Nice jump spacing from Arkma, though, getting around Pikachu's aerial. And he reads the tech. Yeah, good read from Goose. But there again, I, I almost wonder if back air would have killed. I mean, back throw. That's oh, the jabs? What is going oh, on? <laughs> Just raw, raw beams. Very questionable decisions, but they end up going in his favor anyway. Oh man. This is just smash in its purest form, you know? Arkma really wants to even this up without taking too much damage. Uh, don't want a repeat of game one, probably, where he's playing from behind the whole time, you know? Oh, and he goes for the falling upper after the DIO. Gotta be careful here. I was about to say, it's, uh, I, I figured Arkma would be spamming up B there. If you just barely don't have true pressure, you can get super fire punch. Nice little ledge cancel. What's the sound of this? Uh, like, yeah, something like that. That's yeah. like when Luigi up B's, it, it actually makes like a, this cool sound. Mm. I noticed that. What's it doing in uh, Japanese? Yeah. Yeah, not very satisfying. Yeah. Oh, and again, again, yeah, yeah, he's reading the tech away very consistently there. See, I almost, I, I would have read tech in place there. I'm surprised he didn't go for it, and he was confident enough to chase to, chase to the right. There's that down tilt the into dash, dash attack. Oh my the gosh! Reverse, the reverse Back hit of the down smash. And that's gonna do it. Uh, he was not going for the extended peak up be there, uh, but it wouldn't have it wouldn't have helped him anyway. Still would have had to go to the. Yeah, ledge sadly, there. Pikachu's up. He does not do damage. You can't steal ledge with it. Very unfortunate for Pikachu's out there. But anyway, Arkma all of a sudden in the lead and that big F smash rate again. Oh, and this he doesn't have his jump, so yeah. he, can't, he can't follow if up. He, if he had done there. a stick jump there, and yeah, that, that would have. Here he goes. Here he goes. it, but yep. they up. He finally gonna come through, That's and Arkma on. taking game two. We got a tie game, folks. Yeah, we, it's all tied up. It's all tied up. We're neck and neck. We're neck and neck, everyone. At, at Super Smash Con here 2022. At, here, here at D4 Super Smash Con. Division 4 of Super Smash Con 2022. Uh, this is the for Super Smash Brothers for the for Intel, Intel System 4 yeah, tournament. Uh, we're doing some cool gameplay here with the Luigi. Not a character you see every day. Big goes, triple hit. Yeah, yeah, goes for the up air. Or up smash, I mean. Yeah, the that. up smash. Uh, yeah, I think ending he's, it early for he's the trying damage. to build some percent here so that the next combo can kill. Oh, and he could have done a down tilt up air there. <laughs> he's crazy. Up the up, he's gonna up be Again, there. he's got that so many times where he just yeah. he just waits for Pikachu uh, and hits him with that grounded up beat. There's that beautiful dash attack in jubilation. Getting him pretty far off the stage here. The forward smash way too late, though. 
Arkma kind of mixing it up with like a yeah, very immediate that... recovery rather than uh, stalling out. That's something barely. Luigi has a lot of control over when he's recovering, just because of how floaty he is. He, right. Like, you really can't uh, edge hog Luigi super easily because no, he can no. just kind of stall out the invincibility. Really? Yeah, and he just down air up ease there. Oh, yeah. You don't DI well enough. It's Arkma looking happen. a lot more confident in this game. He sort of found his center here. Uh, just managing to to take these stocks pretty quick, and it's a uh, it's a big lead. So Goose really needs to seal this out here, and he gets the reverse back air yeah. instead of the just the normal back air off the side when he's looking for. He's sending these uh, these neutral bees out really deep, just over Arkma's head. I don't think it's doing enough. Arkma just getting oh, back just the shred in the SD. This is a really big lead. Yeah, here. this is looking like a runaway game for Arkma here. Things were pretty close in game one and two, but he's really just got to play solid here and you know go even just going for trades up until Pika's at that you know that good right. scoop percent. Yeah, he, he has stocks to play with. Yeah, and that's always when you when you have a big lead like this, it's always so much easier to play with confidence too, and make callouts uh, because you oh, know yeah. that if it does go wrong, you've you've got plenty of stocks left in the bank. So yeah. it's 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 because of that I think that leads can often tend to like snowball in this way. Yeah. Whereas on the other side, Goose with socks is no doubt feeling the pressure, trying to find the optimal options, overthinking things, and uh, yeah. I mean, it's hard not to just feel hopeless in a situation like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, Luigi at 180. That's just that shouldn't it's happen. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. The backer going to take our first stop, but he gets wow, the JV. the fakest possible <laughs> Another downer to upbeat. So Arkman's going to take that 2-1 over Goose. And he comes pretty, off his third straight win on stream. Yeah, pretty pretty well played from Goose, especially in the first two games, though. But it looks like the game plan kind of just fell apart uh, in the in the third game there. And as we said, Arkman's lead sort of just snowballed. He was playing very confidently. Yep. Getting the upbeats. As that momentum builds up, the snowball grows. Yeah, and, and then the ball just it continues to roll. Yes. Uh, unabated and you know, unabated. Yeah, and it, you know it. It won't stop. You know. It won't stop. Yeah. Yeah, the ball. Is it, there a name for that? Uh, it, like it's like a, it, there's some kind of force propelling it forwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, like that 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 rolling ball. Uh, Does it matter how much the object weighs and what its velocity is? <laughs> Potentially. 